church was built during the reign of Marcus Gordon the Merciful in 1230. Let this parish lead people to goodness of soul and trust in our Lord. The grate is locked. The light of the candles is reflecting in the arch. Father Frederick? Yes? Can I speak with you? Certainly, my son. I am listening. I am Samuel Gordon. It has been a long time since we last met, but I still remember you. I would like to thank you for what you said at the funeral. You need not thank me. It was the least I could do for William. Father, I'd like to talk with you about William. May he rest in peace. What is it that bothers you, my son? I know he came here often. Yes, just like many other people who confess regularly to relieve their souls. But I also know he came here at night. Can you tell me about that? Well, since it is you, I guess that I can. He kept asking me to let him into the old belfry. He was very insistent, and in the end, I fulfilled his wish. Have you any idea what he was looking for in there? I have not. He wanted to be alone, and I respected that. He always spent a lot of time in there, and then left exhausted. I really do not know anything more. I've heard they used to execute heretics in the attic here a long time ago. According to the Chronicles, the trials would have taken place exactly above where we are standing now. A strange place to build a church, don't you think? It was Marcus Gordon, your ancestor, who had the church built. He wanted to at least partially atone for the sins and injustice that occurred here. I believe he chose the right path. Have a look at this, Father. Have you any idea as to what it could be? I'm afraid I haven't. It's very old, I would say. Other than that, I'm sorry. I really have no clue. Tell me, Father, what do you know about Marcus Gordon? He was a great man of his time. The exact opposite of his older brother. Mordred was a cruel antichrist. He would torture and abuse the innocent in mock trials. Thank God he didn't rule for long. Marcus convinced the peasants to rise and revolt, and they succeeded in overthrowing his reign. You can be proud to be of his blood, my son. Father, may I make a confession? Of course. Would you like to do so now? Hmm? No, I meant later. Such things should not be put off, believe me. I'll come back later, I promise. Father, I would like to ask you for a favor. I'm interested in having a look around the old belfry. But my son, the belfry is closed to the public. Why do you want to go there? I'm afraid I can't explain it at the moment, but it is very important. Believe me. All right, then. I will make an exception, then. But just for this once. Thank you. Follow me, please. I will leave you alone. I have to return to the church and serve others. Of course, Father. Thank you. Please tell me when you are done, so that I can lock the grate again. Of course.
I have to figure out how William entered Marcus's tomb. I will not leave before I discover the entrance. A picture of the Madonna. It leads to the rear part of the graveyard. Several old pictures and a dusty inventory are lying in the shadows. I can't see anything interesting there. It is very firm, though quite old. The circular stairs lead to the belfry. I have no reason to go there. Hmm, its shape resembles that of the stone object. This must be what William wrote about in his diary. I have to figure out how it works.
the right combination at last. Same as the one upstairs. has closed. I must open it somehow. The pages are well preserved. I'll have a look. It can't be seen, but it can be heard. It will not speak unless it's spoken to. The more you take away, the larger it grows. Cities without houses, rivers without water, forests without trees. see anything over there. I'll stay in the light for a moment. Shall wisdom be your way? The Saint Four, the year of the Lord, 1243.
Jesus. Marcus, the first Gordon. This must be the key William wrote about in his diary. The first of the five. There is no man today who would remember the origin of the gate of the two worlds, the Black Mirror. This record shall be a warning to all who blindly long for power, not hesitating to stray from the path of fate, exposing their soul to dark forces. Mordred, the lord of our manor, an amoral evil man, plagued the people of these lands for many long years with his ill nature and hatred. His power, however, was soon ended by Marcus, newly returned from the battles with the disbelievers in distant lands. Well acquainted with the habits of his enemy, Mordred made meticulous preparations to withstand the attack of his brother. Realizing that not even the strong walls of the castle could hold against the onslaught forever, he descended into the underground of the chapel. There, he opened within its heart the Black Mirror and urged the entities of shadow to help prevent his doom. He was not the only one, however, to know of the secret corridors below the castle. By the hand of fate, the balance of power began to lean towards Mordred's side. There was not much time left. Watching his men die around him, Marcus understood what had to be done. Overwhelmed by fury, he battled his way through many lines of enemies into the labyrinth of corridors leading to the heart of the underground cathedral. With haste, he took advantage of the momentary surprise and thrust his sword with all his might against his brother. Righteous anger hid its target and cold steel pierced the black heart of the traitor. Victory was within grasp. Staggering on the edge of a bottomless abyss, Mordred gathered his last ounce of strength and brought forth his final desperate deed. With merciless hatred and zealous rage of his defeat, he pronounced the dark words of the curse. Of your blood, others will rise with your name, bearing my curse. One of your heirs will convert five souls of five mortals. This will be the catalyst to bring my anger back to life. And I will return. When your days have ended, there will be no one to stop me. Mordred then fell to his knees, and the throat of the Black Mirror closed as he took his terminal breath. In that instant, the whole place was filled by a deafening sound and blinding light, followed by an absolute silence. And one last thing to be done. Four keys of power were divided by Marcus among the lords of the Gordon Manors, the fifth key remaining with Marcus himself. Never again would the keys meet in the hand of a mortal to open the gate between the worlds of good and evil. Such is the story of our Lord that saved us in the Dark Ages. Let his soul rest in peace forever. Isidore Vale, in memory of Marcus Gordon, 1240 AD. Black Mirror, the secret chapel the book mentions must be somewhere below the castle. I'll obtain the five keys and finish what William couldn't. I can't see anything interesting. Hmm. Where did it run?
must have hurt my arm. Could have been worse, though. At least I'm alive. <laughs>